Greetings to all my subscribers and guests of my channel. Before watching don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so as not to miss new episodes. Today Black Dolphin, consisting of two three-story buildings, is the largest high-security colony in Russia. About 900 convicts are held there. The contingent of the Black Dolphin are robbers, maniacs, cannibals, terrorists, and the creators of organized criminal groups, on account of which a total of 3,000 ruined lives. One of the most gruesome characters is Vladimir Nikolaev from Novichebsarsk, who committed two murders. Vladimir Nikolaev was born on March 16, 1959, in the Soviet Union. Before the murders, Nikolaev spent most of his life in prison for theft, robbery, and burglary. He received his first conviction in 1980, and then was convicted twice more. People he knew thought of Nikolaev as an unsociable, withdrawn alcoholic, and troublemaker. He was out for a short period of time, two to three months, the last time for seven months. During these seven months of freedom, Nikolaev began to kill. It is known that the would-be maniac had a wife and daughter, but they left him after he repeatedly raised his hand against them. According to him, this was the beginning of his alcoholism. In 1997, Vladimir Nikolaev was returning home drunk and on the way he met a friend with whom he often drank. There was a conflict between them and they began to fight. As a result, Vladimir Nikolaev killed his drinking buddy, then brought him into the apartment and dismembered the victim in order to pack the body parts in bags and stealthily remove them from the apartment. But while Nikolaev was dismembering him, he suddenly decided to taste the victim's meat. He cut off a piece of meat from the leg and began to cook it. When the maniac tasted the piece of meat, he didn't like it, but he didn't stop there and fried it in a pan and ate it. The second friend Nikolaev killed deliberately, he wanted to eat and sell the meat in order to earn money for drinks. The maniac gave part of the meat of the victim to his friend, whom he told that it was allegedly saga meat. The friend's wife made dumplings of this meat and treated the guests to it, but the taste of the stuffing, according to one of the guests, was very different from the saga meat, and the hosts gave the dumplings for examination. What happened to the people when they found out they had eaten human flesh is not known for certain. Vladimir Nikolaev was sentenced to death, which was commuted to life imprisonment because of the moratorium. At one time, the convict was kept in a double cell, and according to the cannibal, he had a good relationship with his cellmate. The trial on Vladimir's case went very quickly. The expertise confirmed the human flesh in the maniac's apartment, so there was enough evidence to bring the case to court. The whole city came to the court building to see the real cannibal. Law enforcers had to step up security for the defendant, as the residents wanted to try him themselves. At the trial, Nikolaev said he had no regrets. He talks about his crimes in a completely calm manner, as if he doesn't realize how terrible things he's done. The criminal is serving his sentence in the penal colony Black Dolphin. Earlier, Nikolaev was often interviewed in the colony, but due to the fact that the maniac agreed to talk only for rewards in the form of cigarettes and confectionery cookies and candy, over time they stopped, because how is it that journalists carry him treats, although he did not deserve it at all? In 2006, in an interview, Nikolaev said that every life prisoner should have the choice of serving a life sentence or choosing the death penalty. As of 2022, he is alive and still serving his sentence in Black Dolphin, now 63 years old, and he hopes to file a petition for clemency soon, which I am sure he will be denied. Friends, what do you think? Should we pardon this man or let him rot in this prison for the rest of his life? Write your opinion in the comments. See you in the next issue. See you soon.